All right, YouTube, good morning. It is Daryl with Sinister Speed Co. here in Penticton, British Columbia. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I figured I better do a video today um, and finally do a review on my Zippers Performance Redshift 468 cam in my 2018 Street Glide. I've been riding it now for two seasons. And uh, how this cam upgrade came along was I had um, I had about 16,000 kilometers on my bike and what ended up happening was uh, I started uh, getting a lot of cold start lifter noise and we surmised that it was collapsed lifters so it would take you know at times 20 seconds before the noise would stop so as kind of a preventative maintenance thing and maybe you know just being proactive and honestly wanting a cam upgrade in this engine anyway uh, the timing was perfect so um, what I did was I, uh, I did quite a bit of research online and I found that um, you know the guys at Zippers Performance seem to be you know geared towards some really practical upgrades on these bikes um, where you don't have to spend a lot of money so I called them explained to them what was happening and they sent me a Redshift 468 camshaft for my M8. They sent me a set of fueling lifters, uh, fueling quickie push rods. Um, and then they suggested doing a, uh, the 2020 oil pump upgrade because I wasn't after like maximum horsepower. I wasn't trying to push this thing to, you know, 130 or 150 horse. It was just an upgrade to make the bike better, obviously prevent some, you know, some future maintenance issues with the camshaft. So they, uh, they recommended that I just do the pump upgrade, keep the stock cam plate, um, put the parts in there and then have it tuned. So uh, they sent me the kit, fantastic little transaction between me and them and uh, their their advice was great so we did do the 2020 upgrade from harley davidson on the oil pump and i haven't had any issues with this now in i believe 20,000 kilometers so i've been riding it and i just wanted to kind of do this quick video to explain what i've found with the cam the pros and cons of the cam and uh, the importance of finding a tuner that knows what the hell they're doing because uh, you know you can put a bad tune in these and it'll it'll just discourage you so I think it's it's you know you go online and you see all these YouTube videos about guys bragging about getting 115 horsepower out of their M8 107 with a with a cam upgrade and honestly I think it's less about the the total number and it's more about the usable horsepower at that point and torque um, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you my graph and I don't know if you can see it but that graph honestly uh, created some extremely usable horsepower numbers and torque numbers it just totally changed how the bike rode it changes how the bike rolls on. It changes how the bikes, it changes the bike's attitude. It sounds totally different. It, um, it runs totally different. It's just so usable. So um, I'm gonna show you the bike and I apologize it's not on the stand, but the old shovel heads over there taking up the stand. So, I mean, this is pretty boring down here because well, it looks like a stock 107 M8. Um, but uh, what it did for me was was just create a lot of usable um, range in the throttle. I shift far less. I get to, you know, big hill climbs and stuff. And the bike pulls nice and consistently. Um, you know, the sound is amazing. These engines are extremely confined when they come from the factory because they have to meet not just you know pollution emissions they also have to meet sound so 
Uh, there's not a lot of overcap in this or overlap in the stock cam. There's not a lot of uh, duration. There's not a lot of lift. Um, and so these new M8s with the four valve heads and stuff, I think there's a lot of untapped potential in them. And this cam upgrade really opened my eyes to what the untapped potential of this camshaft and the, the full upgrade was. Um, I really enjoyed the bike before, but I, I found that I had to ride, you know, I almost had to work the engine very hard to um, do what I wanted it to do and pull nicely and smoothly and stuff. So now with this cam upgrade, honestly, I'm gonna get off the floor because nobody really needs to see my bike. So um, this cam upgrade for me, honestly, uh, totally changed the way I I have to ride the bike, which I, th I think is a major bonus. I think that it's uh, it gives you so much more usable range in the bike. Um, like I say, I shift a lot less, so I get to a big hill and say I'm cruising in sixth gear. I just leave it in sixth gear. You know, my buddies on their old older twin cams and stuff. I hear them shifting behind me, grabbing another gear, and I just let this thing rumble. So it's it's been a it's been a real pleasure. So I think everything I've read online and all the YouTube videos I've seen online, everybody brags about power increases and how awesome it is, and that and that's true. I mean, it's it really is a great camshaft. Um, I have literally um, one complaint with the Zippers Performance Redshift 468 cam. And, I, and I'm only talking about the 468 cam in my 107, my stock 107. Um, my complaint is that I had to totally change the way I rode my bike. I now, I now can do all the things I was doing before and more with less throttle input, less shifting, um, less effort. This this motor is far freer. It revs right to red line. I believe the red line on my bike right now is set at 6250 and it will slam into the limiter if I let it. I mean, you can ring it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, so really, I guess it's not a complaint, but the complaint would be when I first got the, the upgrade and the tune done is I rode it so hard that I was burning through a pile of fuel and I was like, man, oh man, I didn't think a cam upgrade would do this to me but it was my fault. It was me. I was overrunning the, the motor and I didn't have to. Um, so now that I've adjusted to the wider range of, of torque and horsepower, I, uh, I really don't burn through a whole bunch more fuel. Uh, my range didn't change a whole bunch, um, but I have all this amazing horsepower and torque available to me. So. Um, I'm really looking forward to continuing using Zippers Performance in the future. I think if this bike ever gets a rebuild and it maybe goes to a big bore or something like that, I really am going to consult them and go back to uh, seeing what they have to say. So um, I did have with the stock 2018 pump in it, and I don't know what gen it was. It might have been second gen at that point uh, on the oil pump. I did have a lot of oil come out of the air cleaner and spray all over the side of the bike when I was working it hard or it was hot out or long trips. And now that's been eliminated. The 2020 pump upgrade seems to be maybe a fix for that. And maybe I'm wrong, uh, but I don't get the oil all down the right hand side of the bike. So um, great upgrade if you're thinking about doing it. Um, don't hesitate. Um, Numbers don't lie. I gained roughly 30% on the horsepower and 25% on torque. And I mean, for the cost of a cam and a tune, that is huge. That is huge. These things from factory are very, you know, they're a long ways under a hundred horse and everybody talks about hundred horse. I've got a hundred horse bike. I mean, until you have a 100 horse bike, you don't realize what a 100 horse feels like and that it's a massive jump in performance from factory. So uh, great job on the cam. 
uh, from Zipper's performance. I think they hit it out of the park. This thing sounds like a Harley Davidson now. It idles like a Harley Davidson. It performs like the bike honestly should perform right from factory. I wish these things performed like this right, right out of the box, but they don't. So we make adjustments and we, uh, and we continue on. So um, just wanted to give a shout out to those guys and thank them for all they've done. And I also want to give a shout out to Outlaw V-Twin, Josh and his team in uh, Kelowna, BC for the great tune on this bike. Uh, made a world of difference uh, getting, a, getting a top notch tuner to uh, get this thing dialed. So uh, thanks guys for watching the video and I'll be uh, more diligent in the future on, uh, on my YouTube channel here. So cheers from Penticton, BC. Daryl from Sinister Speedco signing off.